Hello everyone, my name is Seng Yit Cheo, the first grade student in middle school who is informing our power culture heritage to the world. My story is now big and gigantic. Are you curious about the topic I'll introduce today? Today, I want to tell you about my valuable friend. It is a legendary animal who guarded the tomb of King Muryong for nearly 15 centuries called Jimisu. I just met this friend by accident while having a trip. Three years ago, I went on a trip to Buya and Gongju with my family, which were designated as Baekje History Areas. We went to the ancient tombs in Songsanmi and Gongju National Museum to know about Baekje's culture and history. At the tombs, I researched about King Muryong, who was a king of Baekje. I knew that the person who was inside the tomb was Baekje's 25th king, Muryong. I also knew that he did his politics well compared by other kings. Especially, Gongju National Museum exhibits artifacts excavated from King Muryong's tomb and displays models of terror tomb and wooden coffins, so it was easy to know the structure and artifacts of King Muryong's tomb. Now, I'll introduce my cute and attractive friend, who is Jumisu. Jumisu was buried in Baekje's King Muryong's tomb in 6th century and protected the tomb against evil spirits for about 15 centuries. It became known to the world when there was an excavation of the tomb in 1971. Jumisu was a legendary animal who guarded the tomb and it was located in front of the tomb's main gate. The people found that this legendary animal had its pretty name called Saksu. Saksu is a stone animal statue and image of a beast placed in a tomb or palace. This kind of protective stone animal was originated from the funeral costumes of the Eastern Han Dynasty. It is about 31 centimeters in height, 48 centimeters in length, and 22 centimeters in width. The shape of the animal seems some realistic, depicting a tail and anus. However, a steel horn shaped of leaf and flame patterns depicting wings on the body show that it is not based on the real creature. The saksu has a blunt mouth and a big nose without nostrils. The mouth has remnants of red paint on it, suggesting that the figure was once brightly painted. Although, this saksu is of lower quality than some of the other treasures found within the tomb, this is especially valuable because it is the first stone figure to be excavated and buried with Nectar's kings. And it was designated as National Treasure 162 in 1974. After I went to Gongji area, I was happy to hear that Buya and Gongji area were designated as UNESCO World Heritage Site on 8 July 2015 at the 39th session of the committee. A few days ago, I visited the tomb of King Muryang and Gongju National Museum to find the difference after it was designated as UNESCO World Heritage Site. There were many differences compared to past three years. The UNESCO exhibit hall was formed newly in the tomb of King Muryang, and there was a post box of my friend Saksu in Gongju National Museum. When you put some letters, the letters would be delivered to family and me after a year. When I visited the tomb of King Muryong in Baekje history areas, I was impressed at the tiles that were on the floor. There was my friend Saksu painted on it, and I could feel the energy of Saksu when I walked on the tiles step by step. I felt a curiosity to know about our culture through this friend who came to me a few years ago, and I think that this was my starting point to love our heritages. When you visit Baekje Historic Areas, UNESCO World Heritage Site, you could find Saksu easily and fill Saksu's vitality too. Thank you for listening to my story. Have a nice day.